For a handful of Arizona kids, the new year brings new possibilities simply because those kids can now ride a bike. David Major reports. Thank you. Help me. All right, let's go. I got you. Pedal, pedal, pedal. There he goes. Go on, you can do it. It's the day before Christmas. Turn. And Kim McMullen already has the greatest okay. gift. <laughs> this has been really exciting. He's riding a bike. He's riding a bike without training wheels, and it's the neatest thing ever. I did it. Her 13-year-old son, Jeremy, just learned to ride a two-wheel bike. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. You know, you guys keep set telling me thank you, and I want to tell you thank you because <laughs> you brought your kid here, <laughs> and I get to get the good you stuff. You did it! You did it! Yay! <laughs> Jeremy has Down syndrome. He's one of about 30 kids who recently completed a five-day camp conducted by Lose the Training Wheels, a nonprofit organization that teaches kids with disabilities to ride a bike. <laughs> Matt Hampton is the group's executive director. It's very simple. We do one thing, we do it well. He works at camps like this around the country where he's constantly amazed by what he sees. A lot of miracles, really. You know, to me, it's like watching magic unfold throughout the week. You, some kids come in, they're scared of being on a bike. They're, they don't like having a helmet on their head. And little by little, you see the light start to turn on. And whereas, you know, some parents will come and say, we, we worked for seven years, and we've had therapists, and we've done all these things. And, and you see that, you see them progress every day, and all of a sudden, the light turns on, and, and they're ready to go. So it's exciting, you know. The program uses specialized equipment to take the kids where training wheels simply can't. Training wheels make a bike rigid. They, in essence, turn a bike into a wobbly tricycle. If you take a child who's maybe learned to pedal from training wheels, they've also developed bad habits that don't translate to riding a two-wheel bike. And if, if their mental processes are delayed or their motor control is delayed, they cannot go from that to a two-wheel bike. It's going to fall very quickly. So our process is to take them gradually in very small steps from a bike that's relatively stable but still retains the character of a bicycle, it still wobbles, to very gradually to a bike that's unstable. No, 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 you got it. Keep your feet up. Pedal, 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 pedal. They're going to ride a bike with a, a, a roller wheel on the back that looks a little bit like a rolling pin, but it has a little bit of a contour. And we're watching to see when do they begin to gain some comfort, some confidence, and then we will change to a different roller that has a little more contour, allows the bike to rock and weave a little bit more, and then they ride that, they begin to make adjustments and handle that, and we just gradually, from roller to roller that becomes more and more contoured, create an unstable bicycle, but they're discovering, what do I do when this tips? We're watching for that aha moment, and when we see that, that they're responding correctly when the bike tips, then we put them on a two-wheel bike, and, and we let them go, and in most cases, they're ready to ride a bike. They told us, they told us. These camps count on volunteers who work with the same child all week long. They act as spotters, coaches, and cheerleaders. Their reward is watching the children succeed. We've been so far this week with him. He's done a great job. Great job. It's so neat to see them get on the two-wheeler. It's so cool. Good job. <laughs> Not every kid will leave the camp riding a two-wheel bike. Not always. Our success rate's about 80%. You did it! Good job! You did it! But even the smallest victories can lead to bigger and better things. We almost believe we're a bit of a gateway from an I can't world to an I can world. Yep, he's going to hop on. And we hear a lot of stories about things that, you know, I, my child learned to play guitar. My child's grades went up. My child became more social. Let's go. Paddle. This is really special because Jeremy, we were told when we adopted Jeremy when he was two that he might not ever walk. This is going to be opening up a social door for him for riding with kids in the neighborhood. It's really, really, really neat. It's something I didn't know if I'd ever see, so it's really special.